How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, we are finally going back into the sky. Um. But are we progressing? <laughs> no! Not yet. What we got next is quite a few side quests, actually. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to be deep. Big, big time deep hunting. Unfortunately, there are only certain side quests you can do at certain points in time. We. Actually, first of all, that wrong button. This one. Oh goodness. Why is this one? Wait. There, here, and here. Beatles Island can be helpful, but there's something I want to do first. I don't. I for, I forget controls. Uh, that, we are gonna fall. We're free falling, man. Oh right, I should probably pay attention to that. Hello? Hi! How are you? Hello! Welcome to the item check- Oh! Oh, I- Uh... Welcome. You seem different, apparently. I, I'm seeing the exact same as always, but apparently she seems different. I- I do. I don't think I do. Maybe you're mistaken. Are you sure about that? It's not like, oh, hey, that guy's back. I'm so happy. Or anything. <laughs> Bull! That's exactly what's going through your head. But if you think about how often we meet, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee. <laughs> I guess that in this episode, we're going, screw Zelda, I got myself another girl. Oh, no. I didn't mean to. What am I saying? Please forget everything I just said, okay? Okay, get it together. Be professional. Do you have anything you want me to hold on to? Sure. Wonderful. So what do you have? Um. I have... Uh. Apparently nothing of interest. Bye. Thank you. Come again. Oh, you're back. Hold on to anything of yours you want me to. Something in your pouch today that you want to deposit? Or something you want to pick up? Nah, just wanted to see you. What's your deal? Stop bothering me if you don't want anything. I'm busy watching dust set on the game. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. did not see that coming. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. Uh, can you? Okay, I know. We've read this before. Upgrade gear. Gear that I basically never use anyway. Can I upgrade this? Nope. How about this? Nope. Uh, this? Oh, come on! This. Okay, really? This one. I'm not going to be able to upgrade anything, am I? Ugh, fine. Sorry. Hold on now. You changed your mind? Well, and all the... Eh, it's fine. Come see me when you change it back, little buddy. Sheesh. This space is very hello. Wait, you got something to say? You have something that pull, that'll put a fire in your belly, young man. The new potion I've been concocting is finally ready. Uh, that's an air potion. I don't need that. All I gotta do is breathe in. I call it a stamina potion. If you drink this up, your stamina gauge won't drop as fast as usual. I'll admit it's a bit on the pricey side. It's like 50. That's not pricey. You wanna buy some? Just, I know, like always. 
That means I'll have to get rid of the fairy. Wait, you got something new? Hi. Oh yes, my friend. Yeah, I see that. Small bomb bag. Wait, didn't I already... Wait. Don't I... Uh... Sure. Oh. You know what? Never mind. Look, I tried. I tried, man. I tried and you didn't let me. So, shoo. Okay, so that can't be... Do not pull that thing out on me, buddy. You hear me? That is... You're crazy! Huh? Don't... Hi. Um... Huh. Well, I mean, I guess... Up here, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Wait. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? You called me, Master. Objective, please. Based on what the unidentified person we saw at Temple of Time said. Oh, right. I see the old woman. I'm dumb! I knew that. And no, I mean, I'm, 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 I knew I'm dumb. Um. I'll pick that up at least, since we're heading that way anyway. Wait. Yeah, there's definitely a chest that way. Wait. Yes. There's an Octorok on an air, uh, on a rock in the sky. I thought Octoroks lived in water. Am I mistaken? This analogy. Oh! How did I not? Okay, I guess I'm dropping. We. Oui. Well, that only took a moment. <laughs> that was way too close to the edge, but okay. Your pouch is full, it'll be taken to the item check. Yes, I don't care. I don't. I wouldn't use that thing anyway! Well, I'll get the ones that are over there when we come back. We'll be back! We ain't forgetting! There is people here. Probably could benefit us. Actually, they could benefit us, now that I'm thinking about it. Eh. Please. What? Hey, hey, like it, gross, gross! I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. What in the hell? This is not supposed to be. Ow, gross. <sighs> Rough landing. Yeah, no kidding. I think I might have broke something. If you broke something, you wouldn't be able to sit up like you are. Hey, Link, seriously, didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? Whoa! The 
birds? Tiny birds? What are they? And what is that thing? Okay, calm down, Groose. Look, look, dude. You weren't supposed to come down here in the first place. But how? What? What? Where am I? Okay, Groose. Groose, you should have stayed in the sky where you belong. <sighs> okay, Groose is officially a monkey. <laughs> Introducing Gruus the monkey. He was supposed to jump through the rings, but he decided to jump down here instead. I don't get why. Um, look, big guy, come on, go back in your cage. We'll pull you out when it's time for your performance, okay? Okay, anyway. What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tail you, and you might lead me to Zelda. Uh... But this is so, so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? Uh, that would be a Goron. What's with all these trees? There's so many. Welcome to Hyrule. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Zelda here? Uh, are you sure you can take it? What's the deal with this place? There's supposed to be nothing below the clouds. What's all this? As I said, welcome to Hyrule. Pat. Fit Pat, Paddywhack. Give old Groose a bone. <laughs> I may have just said that wrong aside from the Groose part. Knick knack, Paddywhack. That's what it is. Uh, whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. What mind? You're a monkey. You ain't got no mind, buddy. All that's up here is <laughs> banana. <laughs> right? Stop giving me that look. <laughs> I'm talking to you, not him. He can, he can keep going the way he wants. You stop giving me that look. Nah, monkey doesn't suit you. We're going to call you Groose the Gorilla. The Groosilla. No, we're just going with Groose the Gorilla. I've got this right. Zelda is down here somewhere and she's okay. Yes. She's she's okay? Oh, wow. That's so great. <laughs> oh boy. Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. Okay. You know, Link, it's sort of all right down here. Yeah, I can agree with that. Maybe you're not so much of a monkey after all. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting of this rugged, adventurous wild wilderness. From now on, we'll call... Never mind, you're still a monkey. You're still a freaking dumb, stupid gorilla. Actually, gorillas are pretty smart. Yeah, that expression Link just gave him, that's exactly what I'd give him. So let me see if I've got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? Yep. I see. Right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Uh, that ain't happening, monkey. You need to be put back in your... No, Groose, you are not going... Gro Somebody get this guy's leash! Nope. I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skylop. That's not happening. Then when we get back, I'll ask if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. And the two of us... You're an idiot. This monkey is so stupid. Gorilla, stick with what you're supposed to do. Jump through the rings. Maybe eat some bananas. Pick some flea out of your hair while you're at it. Is that, is that what monkeys do when they're, like, grabbing at their hair and they start eating whatever they pull out? Is that what they're... What are they... Is they are those fleas? What is that? I'm not a zoologist, so forgive me for not knowing. I'm not an animal ecologist. <laughs> I actually don't know what that would be. Is that a zoologist? I don't know. Now it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. 
You know what? Have fun. I'm going to go talk to... Okay, bye. Catch you later, Link. Okay, then. So. Okay, I saw the butthole around here not too long ago. Where did... Oh, you're right there. Hiya. Hello. Hi. Oh, hey, bud. We meet again in a hurry, as usual, eh? Yep. I have been keeping busy, too. Checking out the wonders of the world. Say, hey, you want to hear about some of my research? Sure. Okay, bud. Prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. So get a load of this. Apparently, there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Wild, right? Want to know more? Sure. All right. That is the kind of archaeological... Uh, what? Pfft. Big word. Archaeologic... Actually, I think I did say that right. Archaeological. It's a weird way of saying it, but I think that's accurate. Enthusiasm I like to see. Oh, but before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues... <laughs> <laughs> that wall is so cool, man! That sounds like something Bob would pull. Dude, yeah, I found something awesome. Is this wall. Well, that's a statue. I know, right? There's something I better ask you about, bud. You ever heard of a blessed butterfly? Yes. All right, bud. Then let me jump straight to the point. Ancient tomes mention these butterflies flapping around in packs by certain walls and statues. Seems like these butterflies have some kind of sixth sense. They are detecting, uh, something. Want to hear more? Sure. Which are you interested in? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't really care. I was actually going up and down. It just whichever one it's less, because sometimes my controller does that. Okay, I guess we're going with statues. The writings claim that the statues appear out of nowhere with a boing sound. Oh, you're talking about the, um, I forget what they're called. The, uh, <laughs> the Sheikah statues. Can you believe it, buddy? Talking statues. I know you want to hear more about this. Sure. That's the spirit! But sadly, that is as far as my research has gotten me. As soon as I make any new discoveries, you will be the first to know. Like always. Can you tell me anything else? Ancient Toe mentions these butterflies flapping around. Yeah, please shut up. Let's look at the walls now! I'm honestly just doing this because I'm curious. From what I have learned, it sounds like these walls were left behind by the goddess for the hero mentioned in Legends. The things the hero desires are said to spring from, spring forth from behind the walls. That is why they call them goddess walls, I suppose. Want to hear more? Sure. Ooh. That's a spirit. To okay, it's the same thing. All right, thanks, bud. Bye. Wait. I actually think I want to go this way. I think. Um, maybe? Actually, no, I don't. Did I activate this yet? I don't remember. Do you? Look, I'm. No, of course I didn't. Glad I came this way. Where's Groose the monkey? Where's Groose the gorilla? He's not in his cage. He kind of ran off, and now I don't know what to do about myself. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright. Roos, are you in here? Actually, probably, yeah. Yep, there he is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Granny. Messing with me. Say it again. I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. 
of the Spirit Maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this <laughs> Uh, hey! Do not burn my monkey! <laughs> Shut up, Granny! You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. Oh, really? You, you, I, you expect me to believe a gorilla's going to save a princess? How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? Pfft. If I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Huh? Hello. That would be me. <laughs> Oh, now I get you. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. <laughs> what a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny. But that's a load of garbage. Well, at least I know somebody's not superstitious. I know you and you're no hero, shrimp. Normally, I'd take that as crying, but he made the sound, not me. This is why I call him a gorilla. I mean, come on. Greetings, Link. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Y yeah, almost. Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is a being sent forth from the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. Cool. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. If I can speak! However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well, and do as I say. Okay. Ta-da! Good. You learn fast. Yeah, it's not that hard. Now for your next lesson. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your harp. Listen well, for the song I sing will be a great- <gasps> Get gross! Get out! <laughs> Alright, Groose, go in your cage. I'll be there in a second. I'll feed you a banana. Maybe I'll give you ten if you behave. <laughs> now, Granny, you were saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. I like this song. It's so, you know, gorgeous. There's so much going on here. It's just fabulous. It's like, oh my god. Actually, I like, I actually do like this song. You learned the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from the ancient times. Cool. What? That's interesting stone we got there. Kill. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over on this land. Melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence. The only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. 
but you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god Elf. Ah, Groose, what did you do? Shaking. I feel the seal has bro been broken. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Oh boy. I think there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. How much do you want to bet Groose is just out there waiting? Alright. Okay. You want me to fight this the guy coming up? Fine. I'll do it. I'll feed... <laughs> I'll feed the freaking leftovers to Groose. Whoa! What's with all the shaking? Uh, none of your buttholes, beeswax, shenanigans. The whole ground is heaving! I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. Alright. There's nothing natural about these tremors. The monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Okay. You said approach the pit with caution. That's about it. That doesn't mean I'm going to be take precautions on how to get there. <laughs> There it is. Ah, don't this feel like deja vu? Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's not good. Um... High imprisoned. I knew it! The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep the beast from escaping the pit. It must not reach the temple. Okay. Whoa! Alright. Oh. Buddy! I mean, bud. That, I guess that wasn't really needed, but. There we go. That's right, pal. You better get on your damn back. That's one, two to go. I think. Yeah, uh, bud. Dude. Can I land on his head and just start trampling the thing like that? Can I go to the top and just land on his head and do that, or will it not let me? I've found this is probably the easiest way to do this. Hey! Alright. Yeah, that's right. Trample the ground, buddy. Uh huh. Yeah, this is gonna take no time at all. I mean, even Groose, the freaking Groose Gorilla Boy, could probably do this. That's how easy this is. At least this round. It gets a lot te more tedious later on, which doable, very, still pretty easy, but even so, a pain in the butt. Uh, 
Alright. You got plenty of room, buddy. Do your, uh... You know, whatever you want to... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Cut, cut, stop, 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 buddy, buddy. Halt, 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 halt. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, I see. It's getting harder now. Come on. Come on. I mean, again, pretty dang easy, if you ask me. I mean, yes, the later ones are a bit more tedious, and you really have to know what to do with those, but once you know, it's pretty freaking easy, actually. Boom! Okay, buddy, look. Look, dude, you, we can't keep going like this. Get back in your hidey hole! Get back on the grill so I can cook you up and feed you to the gorilla. Bruce is getting hungry. He's getting really whiny because of it. So get back on the plane. What? Look, I had to call Bruce some. You know how that works. That's fine. That works too. I am totally okay with this. Actually, this is really pretty. For something that's supposed to look really gruesome, that's actually kind of pretty. Alright. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with the Skyward Strike. Restore the seal. Quickly. But. But. Rushing is. I was told rushing is a big no no! Alright. See? Mr. Gorilla. Oh. Easy enough. Now stay. Doesn't that like look different every single time we time we insert it into the ground or something? Nice going, Link. Well, thank you. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bond, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. Okay. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you have to fight that two more times. Turn to the sealed temple, Link. There is much to discuss. Make sure this ape stays behind, though, because it's going to be a big problem if he comes. He might eat the ball dang my hair ball dangling from my head off, and we don't want that. Although the ape looks a bit lonely, so maybe leave him with, like, a chew toy or something. <laughs> He's not a dog, but, you know. Hara. As you can see... Gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. How does a stone sleep? Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your Skyward Strike might just do it. I mean... Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy. But for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. 
Byron Woods, Elder Volcano, and Lerneru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by the three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people. The Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. And who might that be? Aw, poor Link. Oh god, the gorilla's mad. Uh. Uh. Wait, what? I can't tell if the gorilla's mad or annoyed or happy. I'm confused. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Uh, I don't think he was listening. Link, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Alright. Could you watch over my gorilla while you're while while I'm gone? Because I feel like if you don't, I might What? Ballad of the Goddess. The Ballad of the Goddess. Based on my projections, this is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the Wii ceremony. It is. <laughs> I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. I'm glad Nintendo put that in, because when I first played this game, I would have been so lost if they didn't. I'm not even going to lie. Um, okay. We're good. Thanks, Granny. Bye-bye. Actually, I think there's one thing I can do. Um, Bruce? Bruce? Oh, come on! Now, don't go attacking the birdies, Gorilla Boy. It's okay. You missed the rings. It's okay. You got next time. Come on, pal. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Um. Um. Can't help but feel bad for the guy. Uh, Groos? You okay, dude? <laughs> I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? I'll leave him alone, I guess. Actually, now that I've talked to her, can I go talk to... Garko again? If I can, I know exactly where, but I do wonder. Uh, Granny, can you go talk to Groose, please? It'd be appreciated if you did. Is Gorko... Not yet. Okay. Never mind. Wait. What the hell? Great Goron! I have found some! Yes, I see that. Look, those butterflies that respond in beautiful tones are swarming over the place. This has to be the right spot. Mm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? This? That! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Statue. Why? That is... That's it! One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of. 
There is just no mistaking it. Oh, hey, thanks. Um, that's it. It's just like the old texts say, buddy. It appeared with a boyoing. And spoke in some strange tongue. This is a major leap forward in my study of the talking statues. I see that. Next up are those goddess walls. I have an inkling I will not have to look very far for those either. I mean to find one no matter what. Oh, you will. I guarantee I'll go through this door, come out, and he would have found one already. I'm going to try that, actually. If not, then we'll we'll be coming back here later anyway. But we're about to find out. And... Kabui. Because what I was thinking of is the wall he's talking about. I didn't... I forgot he looks for the statue first. Shut up, phone! Okay, no. Not immediately. That's fine. Um... Well, let's go to the sky. And then we'll go over to Sky Lots. We have chests we can collect, yes. But we're going to start next episode in Sky Lots. Maybe. Oh my gosh! There are two other chests, but they're on the other side, so yeah. We'll pick up on those at a later date. Let's just go to where there's like a save point or something. Right here? Actually, that works just fine. Um. Alright, well. Next time, we will actually start by doing a few side quests, because there are a few we can get done. I hope. We at least have some goddess... Uh, well, goddess, we have two goddess chests we can open. I believe there are a couple side quests before progression. In the meantime, though, I need to go make sure Grusa Grill ain't eating all my dinner, because he did that last time, and I was not happy. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. If you liked it, Make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for a Zelda game you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to check out one I've done prior to this, click the link in the bottom right... Over there. I forgot I'm on the top. Bottom. Ugh! The gorilla's impacting my mind. Click the link across right here. Let the train take you to that destination. Or if you missed any stops on this ride, click the link in the top right -hand corner of the train to take you there. But in the meantime, this trains off to its next destination, where we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!